वेलकम टू टेकी टॉकी हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू ऑन हाउ टू राइट अ प्रोग्राम टू क्रिएट अ क्लास एंड इट्स ऑब्जेक्ट द सिंटैक्स टू क्रिएट अ क्लास इज टू यूज द क्लास कीवर्ड फॉलोड बाय द क्लास नेम एंड देन अ कोलन ऑपरेटर बिलो दिस लाइन वील हैव टू गिव द क्लास डेफिनेशन मीनिंग I will define my variables or attributes and the methods that are related to the class. In my example, I am creating a class for student, and I am initializing the attributes there, which are the student number, student name, age, standard, and the school name. Now I have defined my class. Let me create only one object for now for one student. So I can do that by giving object name equal to class name. So I'll give student one equal to student. Student one is the object, which is the instance of the class student. Along with this, I'm going to give two print statements for the class and for the object. When I execute this code. I can see that the object got created, and then I'm printing the student and the student one. So student is a class, and student one is the object of this particular class. Let's see what values I have inside this object. So I let me give a print statement there. In the print statement, if I give student one dot followed by the attribute, then it is going to give. The value of those attributes in that object. So here I'm giving a print statement for all the five attributes of the class object. When I execute the code, I can see that the student name is blank, student number is zero, age is zero. There is no value for standard and for the school name. These are the default values which I have assigned in the class, and the same got created. In the object. Now let me assign values to these attributes. Here, I am assigning values to the various attributes in the class object. So, student one dot name is ABC, which will be the student name, and the student one dot student number will be one two three. Initially, it had the value zero, and the student one dot age is thirteen. The standard is eight A. And the school name is X Y Z school. Now let me try to print the values of these attributes in the object student one. Here we can see that the object values got printed for each of the attributes. So this is how we assign values to the attributes in the object. Now let me create another object called student two for the same class. As you can see here, I am creating another object called student two from the class student, and I am assigning values to each of the attributes in the object student two. So the name is I J K, and the student number is four five six, age thirteen, standard is eight B, and the school name is X Y Z school. And I am printing the values of the object attributes here. Now let us execute this code. So here we can see that the attributes of both the objects got printed. First one is for the object student one, and the second one is for the object student two. You could notice that I have created objects for two students from the same school. So rather than giving two statements to update the instance attributes. I can give only one statement to update the class attribute, provided we created this class only for this particular school. So what I can do is, instead of giving student one dot school name, I'll give student dot school name is equal to x y z school, and I'll remove this update as well. So I'm not going to do any update on the object. Rather, I'm going to update the class. So if I execute this code, I can see that the same result gets printed. Instead of this blank, 
I am updating the class attribute. This class attribute value got carry forwarded to all the objects that are created from the class. This is as good as creating the class with this default value. Inside the class, we can also give the constructor method in it that will be automatically called when a new class object is created. This is how I define the constructor. The name of the constructor is in it and I'm printing object created. So what happens is whenever a new object is created, first the constructor will be called. So it is first going to print the message object created and then assign the default values to the object. Now let's execute this code. We can see here that so first object created got printed because first I'm creating this object student one. So this constructor got called and the print message got executed. Then the values got assigned to those attributes which I'm printing on the screen. So similarly, while creating the second object called student two, again the constructor got called and that is why I'm getting this print message again, which is object created. We can use this constructor method to assign values to the object while instantiating it. I can rewrite the same code like this where while creating the object student one from the class student, I can also pass values to those attributes. I have done the same thing for student two also, but I'm missing one thing here. What is it? So inside this constructor, I have to make sure whatever values I'm getting while creating the object should be assigned as the values to these attributes. So this is what I'll give inside the constructor where the self indicates that it is the object itself for which I'm assigning the attribute values. Student number, student name, age, standard and the name are the attribute values which I'm passing while creating the object. Then I'm printing object created here and then for the same object, I'm assigning values to the attributes. So, so I'll give self dot student underscore number equal to the student number. Self dot student underscore name is going to be this particular student name and age is going to hold this value. Standard is going to hold this value and school name is going to hold this value. So this is how I assign values to the object attributes at the time of creation of the object. A class will have both attributes and methods. So attributes are the ones which we have defined now. So I can also define methods inside the class. So what is a method? It is nothing but it is a function inside a class. In my example, I'm going to create two methods which are total and average. So for creating these two methods, I need to introduce three more attributes in my student class. When object get created from this class, it is going to hold all the attributes and it will have the methods using which we can perform certain calculations on the object attributes. Now let me show you this with an example. This is my example where I have given the constructor inside the class and I have all the attributes which we are discussing all this time and along with it I have got three additional attributes which are maths, English and science. So what I'll be doing is while creating the object I'm going to pass the values of these three attributes as well as the parameter. I need to define a method to perform calculations on these attributes. So for defining a method, I'll use the def keyword followed by my method name, which is total. And it is going to be on self, on the same object. And I'm going to print the total mark of the student is. And inside that, I'll be accessing the values of maths, English and science. To do that, I'll give self.maths plus self.english plus self.science. So what happens is these three values get added and then in my print message, it's going to print total mark of the student is a total mark. Well, then I have another method, which is the average, which is going to calculate the average mark of the students. So I'll give 
self taught maths plus self taught english plus self taught science by 3 i need to call these two methods in my program so for that after we define the object student 1 i can give student 1 dot the method name so it will be student 1 dot total and student 1 dot average similarly i have created another object which is for student 2 and for that student 2 as well i'm calling these two methods now let's execute this code and check the result first this object is getting created and the first statement is a print statement so i'm getting object created that is printed on my output window and then i'll have total marks of the student and average mark of the students because that is what I have defined in these two methods i am calling these two methods so these two print statements got executed and the mark got printed in my output window similarly i am creating another object which is student 2 and then i am calling the two methods total and average so object created got printed for the second object which is student 2 and then the total mark of the student and the average mark of the student got printed in my output window hey guys hope you now understood how to define a class in python how to create an object from this class thank you for watching this video if you have any queries you can reach out to me at techytalkie@gmail.com happy learning and have a great day